What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. All right, BFF's brought to you by DatChat. So DatChat is an awesome new social networking and messaging app that a bunch of us here at Barstool are now using. It gives you the ultimate level of privacy so you can message and share with people you know the way you normally do. So you can post private messages. There's absolutely no screenshotting allowed. If you send something stupid, get a little drunk, send a crazy text, you can self-destruct and nobody will ever see it. Super private, super intimate, and us here from BFF's are on it. So I use it all the time and you guys should use it too. You can download DatChat for iPhone and Android in the app stores right now or go to datchat.com slash barstool to get more info and download datchat make sure to join our bffs page to talk all things bffs go get datchat it's where we should all be all right uh bffs returning guest we don't have what was that hand that just popped into the crowd we don't have too many returning guests charlie jordan i'll say this i don't know how or why this happened i follow almost nobody on tiktok and when we had you as the guest last time, I must have added you. So I just see everything you do because I follow <laughs> nobody. So anytime I'm on TikTok, it's basically you smoking weed in my face. Pretty much. <laughs> like, what no, is I can't even just post. Just the rose comes like over and over again. Yeah, but I yeah, can't yeah. even post that on TikTok. I get, it gets taken down. So I can only post that on Instagram. But I follow both of you on TikTok. Brianna, I saw her on some turntables a little bit yes, ago. What was yes. up with that? I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> she it, was like this it, is so fun i was like yes it is <laughs> it's so fun before we get into the subjects josh what a turncoat your your team gets eliminated dude. and you show up in a stafford shirt dude i had to i had to go to the next i had to go to the next uh, little leg that was in my parlay you know i had i had buffalo or rams winning the super bowl in the or go into the super bowl bills got beat out in the most fucking devastating game i've ever watched in my life like i was literally so sad probably about to cry for the rest of the day allen goat goat yeah he's a goat. monster he's a but, yeah. monster goes and makes the craziest drive ever we get the td with 13 seconds left and we fucking lose Fuck and then how time. long till after until you put on the rams jersey like three this seconds morning, I mean, this morning this morning this morning i, I go in my closet and i was like you know what i didn't expect <sighs> gotta to go see stafford that jersey on. Well, all right wagon. big story <laughs> sensitive story the jack wright sienna may thing has kind of exploded Massive. and we actually thought we were gonna get Santa Mae on this show Gruen told her not to come on am I hearing this correctly really I think I think they I think they started to uh or I think they've like worked together in the past or something <sighs> yeah I think any press around that situation is probably really sensitive so they're probably trying to be just very cautious about everything but I, uh, I actually just watched the entire video that Jack posted last night, and it's pretty crazy we, that all that stuff is on the internet. We may need your microphone down just a tad, I think. Mine? Charlie's. Hey, Vinny! Yes, Charlie, what you said, super sensitive, but listen, I'm a numbers guy. We're it's in this all about the world. <laughs> So wow. we get a call Saturday, like Sienna May wants to come on BFF and tell her side of the story, do an exclusive. I'm like, fuck yeah. I was at a basketball game. I'm like, I'll come do it now. We sit down for this. It's, we find out she's not coming on. And I'm told by Kareem, our producer, that Gruen, who is Josh's guy, and part of this is the reason she's not coming on, which is crazy. That's super weird. It's that a little, she's, it's a little kind of. She's the avatar. one who like reached out, and then she was like, "Just kidding." Yeah, I, it's, well, it was no. a direct correlation. I said, "I said there's a good chance that what Gruen told her impacted her not coming on." Yeah, Gruen said, "Don't go on any podcasts." He didn't say, "Don't go on BFFs." He mm. said, "Don't but go we're on a podcast." Podcasts. Was this? Yes. Was this, this true? Well, kind of because I feel like as we've seen in the past, like she. Um, you like know, sometimes like she, she definitely gets very. If you're an over explainer or talk a lot, like it can be very hard to control what you're saying on a podcast. Right? I was going to say, I think she bit, digs herself a bigger hole sometimes. Yes, like, I think her. I just think that the way she went about certain of the responses made it so people made it a worse situation. So am mm -hmm. I like an evil human? Because what you guys are saying, I just see like a cash register with like numbers going through. It's like, okay, well let's get like, that's what we do. Don't we want that exclusive? Yes. But I mean, like, I don't know if it's, we should look at it as just like a cash register. Have you seen the video 
Dave? Wh- which one? Jack's the one that video. Jack made. I watched some of it towards the end, and that's what we'll get into. But there's two sides to every story, right? 100%. Of course. It's just, I think when someone is, uh, I don't know, in the video, you can see when he's talking, like, he's very emotional about it. And I think it's kind of hard to lie about that. Like, when someone is opening up about something and he's, like, trying to hold back tears and talking about all this stuff, like, it it was a lot more, like, intense than I, than I thought it was going to be when I clicked on the video. Like, I was like, oh, this is, like, an internet back and forth because when she first came out she posted so much shit about it i barely even saw anything that he said mm-hmm. i just saw tiktok video after tiktok video rant 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 and then he finally posted this and i watched it and i was like shit i was like this kid's really been going through it the past couple months like fuck i was actually gonna reach out to him because uh regardless of whose fault it is to have again like as a male to open up about sexual assault like you kind of have the whole world against you like no one's really going to believe you and he kind of talked about that so it's a very interesting situation very he said she said yeah and we commented on the beginning i was on sienna's i don't want to say side it's obviously a super sensitive subject but i use the equation you don't know the nature of their relationship (laughs) and that is the he said she said but i always use i i was saying like if i was passed out at a party and my girlfriend like climbed on me and like grabbed me. I like I like that's she's my girlfriend. She can't do that. I'm not gonna be like riled up about that. But there is definitely the back and forth on where the relationship was at. Yeah, Jack kind of came out and said that they were never dating and that she like didn't have the permission to do that. So that was the whole thing. And I think people, it's kind of hard because you have to like flip it and look at it if it was from a girl's perspective and how much more like fucked up you would think it is. So yeah. it's just like harder because society, when it's a guy, you're like, oh, that couldn't happen. You're a dude. You want to fuck. But like, also, I also, I also feel like the, the first video that was released, that video of Jack, where it's like, you can't really see shit. And he has his like, he kind of moves around in it a little bit. She's got like, that was the only evidence at the very beginning. Mm-hmm. So it's, what evidence that we have a lot of stuff here and the Jack's Jack video is how long in total? 17 minutes or something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So pretty long. I did notice and I don't know. There was a gazillion cuts. Like, was yes. A gazillion cuts like every two seconds. Cut, 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 cut. I didn't notice that. Huh. It, it, it's very cut up which i don't know that means anything but it's not necessarily like a stream of conscious i don't know it's such a tough thing it's a he said she said that's why so what sienna say she wrote an op-ed yeah she wrote mm-hmm. an art like she came up with an op-ed or something like that pretty much saying like i think we have a bit of it on this sheet it says i never broke into jack's house did i know the code to his garage door yes but because he gave it to me one of the first scenes we filmed for the hype house show was me walking into the house and jokingly saying i'm home because that's what everyone does in the right house. It's the hangout house. When Jack and James lived there, there were always friends around, even sometimes until 2 a.m. Jack said he used to see me at the car at 2 a.m. in front of his house, but failed to mention the most that most of the time there would be other friends there too. I never stalked him. I never sat outside his house in the middle of the night. Over the past week, some of our mutual hometown friends have reached out. Like me, they aren't sure how to process some of what Jack is saying and are just as confused as I am. Did was. <sighs> Did she say anything? I, the story of that, that I feel like is pretty weird, and it's always so sensitive, but like she got on top of him like naked and he had to like get off. Like, yeah. yeah. Off. She said all they ever have done was kissed. She's never touched his like privates right here. All Jack and I ever did was kiss. I've never seen, felt, or touched him naked. We spent several nights at the hype house together, but I never grabbed him asleep or awake, yet I'm still being called a rapist across the internet by those who don't understand the meaning of the word. It's so tough, man. Like, the back and forth of, like, he said, she said. I just don't even know why this is on the internet to start with, honestly. Like, they're like, oh, we have our attorneys handling it and dealing with it, yet they're still they're all posting, posting it. about it, which is where it kind of goes to your point, Dave, of, like, this is a numbers thing. I'm like, what's the point mm-hmm. of, of taking this all online? Um, and there was that whole thing recently that happened, too. More, like, females assaulting or people being, like, openly talking about the stuff on the internet. That kid that was a gamer got assaulted recently did you hear about that no i didn't hear about that um there's that whole thing with uh who was it was it loray it was like a like a, it was like a month ago oh i didn't i didn't hear about this dude thing. there I mean, was like another boy that came out and was like oh i was sexually assaulted da 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 da, da. and it was like Vinny no hacker. one believes you oh Vinny like, hacker I, no oh Vinny hacker also said it on harry jowsey's podcast that he was like assaulted too really yeah shit it's like a little it's bit of a 
people are just getting I, comfortable for, with saying it or right now? Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's a very sensitive subject. And if that is something that actually happened to you, you should 100% like do it the proper way of like, like, Dealing if you actually got forward. raped, like, going to get a rape kit and, like, going to the police and, like, whatever. But all that he said, she said speculation, I just personally think should be handled offline. And this whole thing, it's blown up. That video, how many views does it have now? In, like... 15 million, I bet. Crazy. <laughs> it, I can't agree with Charlie more that stuff like this should not be tried on TikTok or the... Pre like, there's... Somebody is not telling the truth and is greatly damaging the other person's reputation. Like, only those two know. I, my point remains, I, I can't do anything based on the video. The video, to me, that I saw, the original, still, to me, isn't proof of anything. And, but if his story is true, then he's right, and if her story is true, she's right. I will say, the one thing I saw weird is he says, like, this was happening consistently, but then they just kept hanging out and making... TikToks and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so his he, thing was like, um, he didn't realize that he was kind of being gaslighted and manipulated and that he wanted to, it to stop and he set boundaries, but she wouldn't stop. He was too nice. I feel like there was just a miscommunication on what the relationship was. I think she thought it was something different and he thought it was something completely different. And they Jack never is super talked. nice. Yeah. He's like a very, very nice kid. And when I met him, he was so young. He was like doing pole vault in high school. I was like, <laughs> what, what is going on? Like, I met him at the Hype House, um, and she is super outgoing, very, very strong They're both pretty young. Like, aren't, is, aren't they the same age, though? Yeah, but I feel okay. like she seems more grown to me for some reason. Like, he, he was just like, yeah, like, I'm doing high school, like, da-da-da. I haven't seen Jack in a long time, but I hope both of them are doing okay, because if I was in their position, this would be really hard. Like, I... It's, it's an undescribable feeling. Hello? Can I it's help you? It's tough to do my, this my, my serious dog's subject. Attacking. <laughs> yeah, I know. that It's like it's supposed to be a serious subject right now. My dog's jumping on Charlie, like licking what, her What's your face. dog's name, Buddy? Yeah, Buddy. Girl, Buddy the girl? Yeah, Buddy a girl. <laughs> I, I mean, I think everyone just, it, it, a, a no is a no regardless of gender. I, I will say I didn't know he yeah. pole vaulted in high school. I didn't even know that's like a thing, but. <laughs> I don't know that how was that's a random like relevant tidbit, to the but story. But. No, no, I was just saying, like, when I met him, he was still in school and very young. And both these kids are super young. So to be having to deal with, like, such a heavy topic in front of so many people, very he said, she said. I hope, like I said, both of them are doing okay and it all gets figured out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Moving away from the heavier, because, again, I, it, it, it's just who do you believe? Really? Yeah, I, there's no, they don't really have facts yeah for no one's ever gonna you're, know you, like, you don't really know happened. you don't know unless you're one of the two people that were unless in unless you take her that original video and you're like there it is that's proof mm -hmm. i personally didn't but right if you do then you do um okay lighter subjects addison ray lady gaga a very short recording going around of addison ray uh ray recording an unreleased gaga song wow that's crazy she just gets the song how do you she feel about this Lady one, Dave? Gaga's you're a, you're well, a little I, monster. I, gotta, I, I, lo I like Addison. I'm a big Addison fan, but Gaga is like the best concert I've ever been to in my life. I'm a monster. Um, I can't <laughs> yes. believe Addison would try to sing Gaga because that is like going after like Whitney Houston. I mean, Gaga right. is Gaga is a Gaga. A but generational you, you need voice. The, like you need the performance behind it too to be Gaga, right? So like, let's, you can't just you can't just oh, she's be a singer. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you can't go do one of her songs and not have the whole show at the same time, or else. So let's see justice. the clip. Yeah. I mean, if she can sing Gaga, you can sing the phone book. It's a very it's a very short clip, but you can kind of hear it. That's oh. it. Oh, that's so short. Yeah. Uh, one more okay. time. One more time, yeah. <laughs> it's giving like very t Forever Twenty One. Giving not Lady Gaga. <laughs> I'm 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 hearing like two thousand and like ten music. Selena Gomez, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. I, I as I say, I'm a big Gaga fan. I don't even know what song that was. No, it's it's you wouldn't know. It's an unreleased song. Unreleased. So like she would give it kind of like the Dixie D'Amelio um, thing. I'm a big fan of all. Everyone's trying to do their own music. Obviously, like, we're all out here trying to figure out what we want to do. But I would love to see all these TikTok kids that want to make music, like, come out with their own original, like, sound, you know? That would be really sick. <laughs> how, stu how stupid am I? I don't understand what we're saying is happening here. 
Okay, so okay, so remember Dixie released thanks. a song, and we were like trying to figure out if it was about Addison and stuff. Do you yes. remember that? It's because it was a sample. So she took someone else's song. You can like sell songs. It's kind of the same yeah. thing with Lady Gaga and Addison. So this is an unreleased song that Lady Gaga didn't want and she's giving it to Addison. Got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought we were saying she was trying to sing like paparazzi or something. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought she was trying to cover Lady Gaga. That's like, you're crazy to do yeah, that. Yeah, no. that's that's even crazier than just doing okay, it unreleased. Got it. Um, I'm familiar with this dude, West Elm Caleb Tinder. So it's a guy named Caleb, West Elm, because he works there. And apparently his jam is he, like, meets girls on Tinder. I've never heard the phrase he love bombs them or something. He's super oh effusive. God. Yes. He, like, What's slides in the DMs, and he's, he, he makes it, like, romantic and magical. Like, I, I've never seen someone as beautiful as you. I'm in love with you. I would love to take you out. I haven't felt like this in forever. Like, a love bomb. So, like, every dude. And- <laughs> And then he just ghosts them, right? Yeah, he'll go uh, out with them. I think it's a two-date thing. It's like a two-date thing, right? Yeah. What's yeah. that? Yeah, he, yeah. he does two dates. So he like makes you think like, oh, he's different. He went on a second date. And then he's like, ah, gotcha, bitch. Yeah, and, and then he sends right after. Uh, his dick, dick pics all around oh, town God. as well. Oh, God. And I guess he's um he's hung. Is that like the closer <laughs> to the second date? He just... Here's a dick pic. Yep. Yeah, and yeah, then were, I saw some girls saying it, unsolicited, like just dick pics. Yeah, I haven't. Wow. I, no one want. told me yeah. that. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's a good closer, man. Way that's to, a great closer. Great way to end the conversation. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Caleb himself is not on social media any longer, so he he. Dang. Shoot. He had to go dark. He had to like recreate his image. So I went on a man hunt and do this for him. Again. And I, he changed. Oh. His, I got a girl who used to talk to him and like got his number. It was it went green. Like oh he shit. His, his phone number, he's gone. He got caught. He disappeared. But all right, I had this debate. I think this would make girls more interested in him. What? In which, in which way? <laughs> I think, like, if I think a, a lot more girls would be like, oh, now I'm interested in Wes Elm Caleb than before. Because I what, think, they think they're going to be the like notoriety the of being him? in demand and shit like that. <laughs> Girls get attracted to that, even if they say they didn't. But it's like being kind of like a player of bad boy as much as girls say they don't like it. Yeah. I think Al- they Alex attract- from Target is now Caleb from West Elm. <laughs> Bro- <laughs> I didn't like, hear that. You I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if you know who Alex from Target is, Dave. No. Alex from Target was this dude that everyone was obsessed with. He just worked at Target. But now we got Caleb from West Elm. Like, super random spot to work also. But, Wait, uh, do, do you guys agree with that assessment? Like, Charlie, do you think more girls now will be interested in this guy? Uh, maybe, like, yeah, a little bit. But I think, like, more for, like, I think it's, like, the allure, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's not really like they'd actually be interested in well, him. Well, I don't it's know like, if he really cares if they're super interested in him. He just needs two dates. And then it's unsolicited deck pic. How did you guys find this dude? <laughs> he he was viral. He was everywhere. Super really? viral. I didn't he's dated like it. everyone in New York. But you know what's <laughs> weird? That he's running from it. The fact that he's running from it actually makes me think he's more of a psychopath. A serial like, killer. Like, like a yeah, yeah, serial killer vibes for sure. Well, yeah, I would have thought he would lean in. They were attaching his like company to it. So imagine if it was like Barstool. He has a company? At, like, <laughs> Kareem, it's fucking West Elm. Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't want to be fired from his job for giving them like negative PR. He's a It's West Elm. He's a designer. That's probably a big gig for him. Oh, he's what? a designer at West it, 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 it does say he's an uh, he's he went to Savannah College of Art and Design. Shit. So. He probably what got his is, dream what, job. He's artistic he's too. Wow. Well, um, that's what, on you. What is he going to get what is West Elm going to fire him for for like ghosting girls? What are you crazy? Maybe the uh, unsolicited <laughs> well, dick pic. Yeah, maybe the dick pic. Yeah, part. probably that one. Because <laughs> remember, if we think about traditional jobs, <laughs> that is not a thing. Remember, like when you just like couldn't post anything, like you were scared to post anything on the internet because no, you're like, I'm gonna I get don't. fired. Okay, I don't cause yeah, because you're a child. Mm-hmm. Yeah, got it. <laughs> I, I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, like you couldn't pose. Like it was like the fear of getting fired if you post in a bikini. Oh God. Mm-hmm. Or getting into college. Like I can't post anything. Yeah, I will not be doing that or going back <laughs> anytime soon. Push and P after the release of uh, <laughs> release P. of rapper Gunner's latest album DS Forever. Push and P has taken over the internet. If you're Push and P, it basically means you're winning at something in life. Gonna use Push and P. 
Push a P. You push she, a, I don't you know what the fuck Dave? this means. She pes Show the TikTok. <laughs> so basically, we would say like, uh, West M. Caleb is not P. No. So it's, <laughs> it's good to be you P. Say, it's good to be P. Yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 definitely. There's a couple different, because I asked that question. Yeah. Push a P. <laughs> Dude, Gunna posted. Yeah. He was reposting a bunch of people's TikTok to that, and I asked what it meant. Hold on. Can we fix his mic real quick? Yes. I asked what it meant. Someone said it was like push a pee, like pushing drugs. I was like, mm. Ready? So it just means read all of Gunna's tweets. Like he kind of, it's just like being good. Risking your life to feed your family is pee. Bossing up your bitch is pee. <laughs> yeah, you just, you, just either, you just either know what pushing pee is or you don't. You just, yeah. It's just like, oh, that's, just that's be, cool. That's good. That's just pee. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, green M&M breaks the internet. M&M just updated their logo, changing the characters to be more inclusive. Yeah. The biggest change comes from the green M&M who ditched her famous heeled boots for sneakers to desexualize the M&M because it is typically really? a little bit flirty in the promos. Yikes. Yeah, it might be a hot take, but I don't think it is actually. Bring back the heels. Bring back the heels. Would I she mean, ever? She's literally a circle. And what? It's an M and M. You're really sexualizing <laughs> like, an M and M. God, that like M and M is so sexy. It's the most like un like. It's just like it's a circle. It's it's. Bring the heels, bro. The the heels were they were nice. Yeah, it's not like that's she like, had big. He's like I like the M and M. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's not like you got some curvy ass M and M. That's like some disformed looking M and M that you get at like the bottom of the package that you're kind of like, oh, this is this is cool looking. You know? Yeah. But hey, you know, if she's feeling sneakers, whatever. <laughs> Rolling so Stone published an article, let the green M&M be a nasty little <laughs> slut. Oh, yep. shit. I love yeah. that. <laughs> I love that, too. Wait, if let I me said see the that, picture. I'd get thrown in jail. Yes, um, you would. <laughs> three, uh, 365 days in sol solitary confinement. A tweet has gone viral asking if people could spend one year in solitary confinement for $30 billion. Oh, billion? Shit. Oh, billion. Yeah, who yeah. I think that might be worth uh, it. You would nah, go you would go no. insane. Like you wouldn't mm. be the same person when you came out. One year? Chance. That's not that That's bad for 30 billion. Uh, you you don't get to read a book. You don't get to have a movie. Out of all the phones. things you list off a book first. Do you read You're books, Josh? Scaring. Yes. I'm, you read I'm books? so educated. <laughs> you ever read Death of a Salesman? Absolutely exactly. not. <laughs> um but but what I'm saying is like your your brain couldn't handle it. You would you would come out and you'd be a crazy person. Like you would definitely be a crazy person. Would be a crazy, crazy person with thirty billion dollars. You could do whatever you want. But they put someone in solitary <laughs> for like a week and they're losing their shit. Like imagine like a fucking year. That would be wild. I don't know. I know. I don't think so. I wanna say I could, I don't know if I would make it. Nah. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I've never been in solitary, so it's hard to I, do. I mean, I, they got to yeah, bring you food. It can't be totally solitary. Like, people have no, to No, they bring you food. Like, There's like a happen? little window. Yeah, you just have they, to they literally the bathroom slide it through right a window. There. Yeah. Oh, God. You say that as an authority. I don't know if that's true. Uh, the Bills lost. <laughs> what the fuck, Josh Richards? We talked about that already because this is crazy that you switch. Mah Patch, I tried to get Mahomes, wife, and Jackson again on the show. Again, nothing. But um, she's catching all sorts of heat because after they won, she took a champagne bottle and went bananas on the crowd. We have the video. Wait, who? Uh, <laughs> this, yeah. Do you know Patrick Mahomes? Do you watch football at all? Uh -uh. Kansas City Chiefs quarterback. He just beat the Bills last week. He might so know when Jackson. Say, his wife and his brother are like kind of known as nuts. Um, and they just do a lot of crazy outlandish things like they danced on a memorial of a player one time or something or like standing Shit. on it and and they keep like they just do silly things without really thinking they're not very self-aware is how you'd put it mm. or they're super self-aware or they're yeah. super self-aware one of the two <laughs> you see i actually don't i hate to side with them but like i don't think spraying some champagne after like a yeah. huge fucking dub i think that's is that big of a deal i think people just are making it not not cool of her to do because it's her i think if it was someone else they'd be like oh that was awesome yeah, yeah it why was, is it a problem if it was josh allen's girlfriend Brittany, who like everyone loves both of them if she did it it would be well received it's just yeah. the back history now it's also freezing there and do you want to get 
like splash going home. I don't know. I am kind of, so Charlie, who's absolutely struggling with the microphone. Guys, this is really hard. I don't know if you've watched for the past 15 minutes, but I've just been trying to get this mic to stay up. Yes, <laughs> I have seen that. And I also heard you say you didn't know who Patrick Mahomes is. So, you, so you sorry just, about that. You just <laughs> she, know she, she nothing She keeps fucking football. touching this shit. There's no way it's it's just falling on its own. She no, keep it keeps going it. down all the way. And then I keep, it's just slow. It's slowly like, nah. <laughs> So you just know nothing about you. You don't even know football exists. Um, that's no. I definitely um, used to keep up with football growing up, but as of recent, I just don't really watch. Like, I can't even sit down and watch like a TV show or like a movie. Like, I'm just doing so much. Like, my attention span to sit down and watch something is kind of low. But with football, like, I love watching it. Love going to the games. I think I prefer to watch basketball. Got it. But football is great. Um. <laughs> Chloe Kardashian Photoshop fail. Chloe Kardashian gained major heat after she was caught with a terrible Photoshop fail, making her fingers look extremely long. Yeah. Bunch yeah. of people do it. I have a question for you, Charlie. Yes. We have an employee here. I had a long debate. She, the, an influencer. There's a girl, an influencer. She would go into the influencer's comments and tag her friends, Photoshopped, Photoshopped. Do you think that's mean girl behavior? Um... I do, just because obviously, like, I don't know. It's not like a fucking secret anymore. Like, if, if you Photoshop your pictures or you do something like that, like, just be open about it. Um, and going and commenting that shit, like, what's the point? Like, if you're not going to leave. You're just doing it to tear someone just, down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, everyone on the internet now just likes to critique and, and fucking call whatever they can out. It's all, like, the Kardashians have been photoing, Photoshopping their shit for years. Like, that's not even, like, a new... Like, we've been knowing Her this. fingers do look a little <laughs> grim reapish, though. Dude, there was, like, a fucking video, a, a whole commercial that they photoshopped. And it was, like, a video that, like, as they're moving, it's all warped and weird. A lot of people photoshop, it's, it, but it is mean girl behavior, in my opinion. <clears throat> There's been a lot of buzz about Phil from ZipRecruiter. And a lot of thank you Phil's going around. Here's what some people are saying on the internet. Alyssa M said, Phil, you are amazing. Gave me confidence. I need to land an awesome job. Thank you. Anthony P said, Phil sent me jobs I was a great match for, so I knew something good was going to happen. And Lil Liliana G said, super thankful for Phil at ZipRecruiter. He made a whole job search easier, and he helped me land a job. Stefana W also gave a shout out to Phil. She said, Phil, you made my job search a priority, and you stuck with me all throughout it. Couldn't have done it without you. There's sure a lot of love for Phil at ZipRecruiter. In fact, that Phil sounds like someone you want in your corner, especially if you want your job search to be easier, and who wouldn't? All you have to do is team up with Phil from ZipRecruiter and let Phil fill your life with a new fulfilling job. That's a lot of Phil's. And now a lot of thank you, Phil's. What job will Phil help you discover? Find out at ZipRecruiter.com. Once again, that's ZipRecruiter.com. We got some videos to react to. I don't know if this is last 24 hours fingers. threesome. If you have 24 hours left to live, what would you do? Fuck. Um, maybe have a threesome with the barstool guy and his girlfriend. Fuck. Oh, oh shit. Anything else? Dave, I think that's, um, that's gotta be you, Dave. Dave. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I don't even know what to say to that. That's the first thing she thinks of. Wow. That's like you on the spot, honest. no thoughts come into your head, and it's just like, okay, instincts. She's thought oh, about fuck, this. Fuck, fuck, Dave Portnoy and his girlfriend. I had not seen that. That caught me off guard a little bit. I think that's more credit to her. I like, I girls will come up to her every once in a while. I think girls like her, so I get it's to your girl? compliment to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girls are a fan of my of her. Um, okay, that was shocking. Nice. Yeah. Next. Yeah, I'll next take video, that. By the way, that's a huge Last day on Earth. That's a huge. I take that as a gigantic compliment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the last thing she would do on earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's not, she'd not say love you to your mom or dad. Not like, Hey, I want to spend the day with my family. Not like, yeah, fuck the I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Get married, have a kid and nothing like that. Like fuck Huge that shit. Dump. And you don't know, it that. was about for Silvana. Cause you, she didn't even know your name. She said barstool guy and his girlfriend. <laughs> I 100%. <laughs> I think if she knew Silvana and didn't know me, it was just, her answer would have been the same, except instead of three people it would have been like two people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Huh. All right, TikToker parents does coke. Oh, oh yeah. Did Tana yeah, talk about that? Yeah, I was yeah, in an yeah, LA club the other night, and one of the more famous uh, parents in this space—I won't say who they were—I <laughs> saw them doing a bunch of 
I know who it is. They, yeah. And they're they're the parent of this. Fun like, guy, though. Can we be honest? Super fun guy. <laughs> Listen, least. if you have a daughter or son and they're making tens of millions of dollars jumping on a trampoline, you are <laughs> supposed to go out to LA and shove grout in your face. <laughs> Do we know who they're referring to? No, she's saying no to everyone in the comments. So people yeah, ask but if it it's was gotta Charlie's be it's or... gotta be one of those people. Like it's gotta be one of those. She's well, just well, saying he no. He said it, if my kid's jumping on a trampoline, does that imply like someone specific? I don't know, but yeah, that whole uh, I've seen a lot of parents out here getting crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know if the that list is... is very small. I think you could just shoot out about any parent's name that's super involved in their kid's social media. Yep. There's a fat chance that they just about do everything vicariously. I have no children. idea. Dave, you know when like, you know when like, uh, do you yeah. know who you think it is? You're like, I, or no. No, I got a solid list of like, so a, who? quite a Throw few out. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, but there's, I mean, anyone, like he was saying, anyone who has parents that are like momagers, dadagers, heavily involved in their kids stuff, the odds, like I have seen so many parents out without their kids kids aren't even there not yeah and, and they're just Multiple getting times. lit i'm like and they're coming talking to me like whatever like i was like oh okay bring in like <laughs> like i've seen them bring girls around it's yeah nice, like people that are married fully have like a family are just out wilding yep i have no guesses i literally don't have any idea who it could be it, it's it, it's literally the it's just the uh it's the Dad that got injured playing college football thinks he could have made it pro, so lives vicariously through his son and just trains him every day and doesn't let the son have a life besides like play that sport. It's the exact same thing when these kids get famous. Their 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 parents are just like ah. I'll in be in the comment section, somebody guessed Charlie's dad. She said no. I wanted to guess that, but I don't know any of them that well. Um, I would never want to like blow up someone's family because that's just like destroy their entire household. <laughs> yeah. Like I bet someone tough, named like... it in the comments. She just said no. Well, to, to be honest, like who cares? Like I, I like I would guess the other maybe may they... know if you. They probably did coke together at some point. Yeah. I mean, maybe like the kid parents. doesn't. Yeah. The kid yeah. probably doesn't know. Maybe. I mean, live your well, life, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Rick... all the fucking family YouTubers, like the what's his bucket? Ace, like Ace yeah, family, like that whole. That's like a prime solid example of. What we're talking about, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like those kids, like I don't know, I, I I've seen so much speculation and shit on the internet about that family and people come out, whatever. I can only imagine what it's like to be the kids of that situation. Yeah, um, Brittany Renner claps back. I haven't heard from her forever. Last time <laughs> I saw her was a Dion talking to his football team. Jeez, okay. she just fucking, Woo. she just like, she just bossed up, mind fucked them. Like, Who completely. were those guys? I don't know, but they just look the biggest sell I've ever seen. They, it's they're called Fresh and Fit. They do like a YouTube show where they bring like girls on and kind of like Brittany was saying. I don't talk know, like, to it. I, yeah, I don't know if like degrades the word, but it's like a a show where they talk about like they they call themselves City Boys. Being a City Boy is like is it like No Jumper a little bit? No, not at all. More like it's it's like guy oriented. Like, like it's. That's whatever Brittany I will was say if they if they did their homework on Brittany Renner when Brittany Renner gave her speech to Dion's football team she's like watch out for girls like me because we'll slide in and it's like what can we get out of the relationship if they did their homework they could have repeated her own words but she's oh, yeah. she was being like smart about it she's like yeah just be careful because as you become more famous there'll be like thoughts and whatnot and they're not doing it because they like you they're doing it to get to something take out money. of the relationship yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way I don't know why that just jiggered my memory you know who I had dinner with last night, sitting next to him? Who? Who was it? Our old friends, the Island Boys. No, no oh, really? way. <laughs> Did you talk to them at all? Do you say hi? So I had dinner with Grutman at Swan. He's the, like runs Miami. It was me and yep. him. Island Boys come. They come over, and I, I could tell. I'm like, you guys don't remember me, right? <laughs> like I could tell they were kind of looking at me. One of the Island Boys remembered me. The other one kind of did not. He picked up on it. They're the same. He was wearing um, what well, iPods, like I, I, I Air, earbuds. AirPods, <laughs> earbuds, Air and iPods, earbuds, Air, AirPods, <laughs> I, ear, earpods at the restaurant. I'm like, why yeah. are you like? Are you listening to music right now? And he does what he's all. He's I find him charming. He's like, no, I get oh. super like high anxiety. So if I get stressed out, I can like pretend that I'm like not in it. I still like the Island Boys. He they got booed so bad at Live. Oh, that it was brutal. It yeah, was brutal. I saw that. that was sad. It, 
the worst booing ever at live. But yeah, I don't know why that video reminded me. Of Bryce, that. Bryce is beefing with them super heavy. Like, he, yeah, he wants to, to fight. Box them. Yeah, they want to fight. They, he wants to fight them both in the same night. They're I don't know why, while you were talking, Dave, I just remembered. I got a bone to pick with you, sir. With me? <laughs> you wow. mistook James Charles for me. What's up with that? <laughs> you, you took that as a compliment. You said he, he has a pretty face. It's you and Madison Beer. Yeah, okay, I was happy about that. Won't lie. I love Madison Beer. Not mad about that at all. But, yeah, I just, uh, that was a pretty great segment, you guys. <laughs> we got yeah, him yeah. twice. We did it yeah. twice. You guys did it two times in a row. I was like, shit. I, I don't know how that was possible. I, I actually defended I, it. There's pictures where your face looks like his face. I, <laughs> he, had the, he had the curly <laughs> hair in the down. photo. No, I literally had the exact same wig that he was wearing in that picture. I plopped it on real quick. It was kind of perfect. Yeah, you did good with that. You made you, I, I, uh, beef with me. I, come on, I was like, come on, that, not, that's not, a not compliment. Not real beef. Not real. I beef. have him like looking like the best looking chicks in the no, planet. No, James is very pretty. <laughs> um, He's pretty. Yeah, Dave has like James, then Madison Beer. Yeah. I don't think you guys will <laughs> trick me on that again, but we'll um, see. Ah, uh, I bet you we will. <laughs> Who's that baby? Oh. <laughs> That's the next video. Okay. Who's that baby? Let's do it. Uh, I have no idea. No. I have no idea. Chloe Kardashian. No. Selena Gomez. I, uh, no, uh, I don't know that one. Are we supposed to guess? I don't know. <laughs> That I'm forgetting his name. Is it Mark Zuckerberg? No. no it's oh, not. you Zuckerberg. assholes! <laughs> I don't know. Dave Portnoy. Oh, yes. I uh, it just gets <laughs> now. He looks like again. Zuckerberg. Uh, oh, that's Aaron Rodgers as a yes. soccer star. Yeah. Wow. Love rugby sport. Zuckerberg. Aw, look at you as a baby, Dave. I was a cute ass baby. Zuckerberg couldn't look like that baby in his fucking best day. What a ridiculous <laughs> fucking comparison. Second. You go fuck right. that guy. <laughs> so we have all the interview stuff now for Charlie, but she's been on the show. So I guess it's more updates because we've already, your world, you're still doing the DJing. I see you everywhere. So what is new? You just on co uh, tour with Cheat Codes. You're blowing up still. Yeah, dude, there's been a lot of shit that's happened even since I came on last time. Because last time I came on, it was like kind of right <clears throat> as everything was opening back yeah, up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. everything was just getting started. But I have my first year residency done in Vegas. I have one more left. Um, my single is coming out on the 28th. It's called Inner Bloom. It's the first track that I helped write and sing on. So really excited to release original music this year. Um, we just filmed the music video for it literally a week and a half ago. Um, Harry Jowsey was in it. Emma Brooks McAllister. Had a bunch of my friends come and just, it was really, really fun. Um, so that's coming out on the 28th. And then, yeah, I just went on tour with Cheat Codes. First tour I've ever done. Um, it was crazy being on a bus with nine dudes. <laughs> Definitely. It was, it was, they were like homies though. Like it was fun. Like they were super welcoming. And they weren't trying just, to sleep with you? None of them. I, no, thank God. <laughs> that would have been cap. terrible. Yeah, I was um, about to say, Dave, I might have to start with you on that one. I think that might be Carol. Hey, there might have. They no, might have wanted to, was, but they were. Was they more, were there, had yeah. to have been, there had to have been like. Yo. No, they actually all had girlfriends. They all have girlfriends, and they were literally in their like little all coffin beds, facetiming their girlfriends. Most of them, yeah. Are you single like, right now? I am single right now. Are um, you linked to anybody? I know the people were the Harry Josie you made the video with. I don't know that you're a link, but people say you guys look good together. Well, we Harry, still Harry seemed to be vibing with it too. He was okay, like responding Josh. back, being <laughs> like, "Oh yeah, give me that." So. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie is obviously a gorgeous girl, but Harry would vibe with a tree. Like Harry's entire <laughs> brand is Yeah, he just... said that. He said that when he came on. He just slings dick. <laughs> yes, big time. Love and that what, for him. What um, about your ex? You're, you've made up with him. Yeah, we're friends. Uh, you, we I don't still... think you were when we, you were on. I don't no, think that was not, the case. Not really. Wait, um, what, who are we talking about here? Taylor, Taylor Holder. Okay, I was just making sure. Uh, yep. <laughs> just it. checking in. <laughs> um, yeah, no, everything's good. Honestly, like, I've been so busy and just doing so much shit that I, quite frankly, like, with the relationship drama and all that stuff, I am just friends with everyone, homies, chilling. Um, obviously, in L.A., there's just, like, so much drama, and everyone's, like, really um, possessive, and there's a lot of, like, what would you call it when it's, like, people cross over a lot? Incestuous. Like, incestuous. It's super incestuous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've just had a really hard time dealing with that. And honestly, after this whole past experience with all that, I've never had, like, a public relationship like that. Mm. It was just a fucking lot. I yeah. was like, I don't think I can date 
in the influencer no, space. I say, this, I say this a lot, but it really reminds me of the show Friends. I say it all the time, but it just, I feel like the social media world and the show Friends are so similar in how incestuous it is. It's just everyone fucking each other. Kind of, yeah. It's like the exact same shit. I yeah. don't know how you deal with that if you really like somebody. It's super hard. And yeah, everybody out here is not like really looking to be in like a long-term relationship. So even the relationships that do exist are not very like solid, which causes like a lot of problems too. Um, but yeah, I'm good with Taylor, you know, just chilling with everybody. Harry's just a friend and, you know, single, not looking to mingle. <laughs> Got it. Or look either way. Um, beauty and pain. This is your, the, the pendants, right? Yes. Um, I'm wearing it. I wear you it know, every day. Silvana wears it. She's, I left it and she stole it. She loves it. My girlfriend loves that pendant. She wears it all the time. Oh, that makes me so happy. Yeah. yeah. I, um, I, we came out with, we're coming out with rings this month and another pair of earrings. And then with the smoke roses, um, we're going to be getting into retail this year, which is super exciting. Um, we have the goji berry cones. With Beauty and Pain, though, um, on the tour, we were selling the necklaces and the shirts. Um, that's about to turn into like a whole apparel jewelry line. So I'm really excited for that. Um, but yeah, this year I'm just really, really looking forward to getting more into music. Like DJing has been so much fun. Brianna, we're going to have to go back to back sometime. I know you, we're going to have to. I have like, I'm not, my first show is not till like April, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Wait, you have a show? Yeah. I'm doing like, a, I'm doing a little thing with, uh, Shaq actually. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, Shaq is fun. a legend and he yeah, DJs yeah. like heavy trap music. I know he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he plays it like what? Time out. What? You're, Brianna, you're doing something with Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know. She just, she always drops. Well, I, just I like thought you were like, you're going bombs. on your, your, your party till you're drunk tour, which is huge. <laughs> and I know, but what do you mean you're doing something with Shaq? No, it's separate. So I'm doing, I'm still doing my sleep when you're dead tour, but, and we're going to work it like the DJing in when I'm ready. But, um, I got asked to like host this thing with Shaq. And if I'm ready to DJ, I'm going to open for him. Is it that thing that's happening in like pretty it, soon? East Carolina, yeah, yeah, thing yeah. is happening. Yeah, yeah, soon. it's like Shaq and then like a couple other DJs. I saw that; that looks sick. But yeah, there's like Shaq's Funhouse. He like DJs. Yeah, everything. he does that. Yeah, at the Super DJ Bowl. Diesel. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, Crazy. But yeah, DJing is has been amazing, and releasing original music is is uh, the goal just for this whole year. I've been in the studio so much. I just have a studio in my house, and I've just been just chilling in there, smoking. Now, you know. <laughs> Originally, we asked you to come on, and it just got delayed. We had miscommunicated. You were traveling all over the place, and we couldn't get the things. It's a little old, so I don't know how relevant it is, but you went viral, or your Halloween party, I should yeah. say, went viral, because <laughs> yeah. a girl said you had to show follower count to get into your party. That makes sense. Why are you doing that? Yeah, that's me, you know. Super right. like that. Just <laughs> at the door tracking everyone's followers. Every single one of my friends after that, when they would come over to my house, would stop at my fucking door and they'd be like, sorry, do I have enough followers. followers to get in? And I was like, no. So this um, was just totally bullshit? Dude, it was insane. I, I was, uh, this was on Halloween. I had a show in Vegas opening for, who was it, Zed or Tiesto. And I like, literally planned this party in 12 hours. Like I shot out the text like right before I went on. I was like, you know, what's going on on Halloween? I was playing the whole weekend. I played Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I was like, what's popping in LA? I'm excited to go back. Nothing. No one had any parties planned on the actual evening of Halloween. So I was like, perfect. Right. <laughs> I was like, I will fill this niche. Um, but I was like, let's just have a house party. It'll be fun. So I made a little flyer, sent it out to just like my close friends. And within a matter of three hours, like yeah, the address got leaked. Everywhere. It was getting sent everywhere. But I was like 12 hours, like... Not that many people are going to show up. <laughs> Next thing I know, I live not in an area where there's parking or, like, space. And half of L.A. is outside of my house. I am sitting on my wall. People are jumping my fence, stepping. I had to pay, like, five grand in, like, damage and repair fees because people were just fucking up my front yard. God damn. Um, and, yeah, this girl couldn't get in. She was from, where was she from? Like, Atlanta? <laughs> like, so she far just away. Visiting. She just showed up to my house and I was only letting my friends in obviously because it was like an intimate Halloween party and uh, she just couldn't get in and I did say at the gate I was like show or my security said they're like if Charlie follows you show us and we'll let you in because those are obviously people that I know I only follow people that I know and I'm friends with I never said anything about how many followers you have but people just started like holding up their phones when we said that and showing their followers I was like no that's not what we said so she left 
couldn't get in and made that whole video because she was upset that she couldn't get so in. So now you were giving me grief before you should have my back because we had met already. And even though we don't know each other, it's like of the different types of people we've had on the show, that didn't strike me as you. Like, I don't see, we've had other people I could see them doing that. I wanted to see that. So I, I, I had your back in we that We talked one. about it on Appreciate behalf of yeah. I'm pretty sure we all said that was bullshit. We said, yeah. even if you did, it's your house anyways. Yeah, where were you guys? Where were you? Why weren't you, you at my party? You didn't send us the flyer. I was, yeah, I didn't <laughs> get the flyer. I didn't want to be you like one of those people. You didn't get it from the mass message? Yeah. I don't even <laughs> I know that you followed me, to be totally honest. I would have been maybe Dave. one of the ones that don't Dave get would have been like, I can't get in. She yeah. Dave would have been like, do I have enough followers or what? <laughs> yeah. I'm not even shitting you when I say Addison Ray's dad texted me and goes, see you at the party tonight. <laughs> Every person. Maybe like, that's, that's who uh, <laughs> Tana was talking about, Addison Ray's dad. Maybe nah, that's nah, like nah. a little He's bit cool. of a tip of the cap there. Um, no, but he 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 be making moves. Him and his whole family. I see them everywhere. They're hustling. Yeah, he makes moves. Roses are red, violets are blue. We loved shaved balls. How about you? Valentine Day is coming up, and we know just the gift to give to that special someone for any and all special occasions. So this Valentine's Day, it's time to give him a gift that 4 million men worldwide trust from Manscaped the leaders in below the waist grooming. So Manscaped has everything to keep you groomed down below. We got the Lawn Mower 4.0. So it's a performance package. It's the gift every guy needs in their life to make each and every day just a little more special. This product he's going to absolutely love is the Lawn Mower 4.0. It's an electric trimmer designed to trim the hair on loose skin. And get this, the trimmer's advanced skin safe technology reduces cuts and nicks on the delicate balls. It even has 400K LED spotlight so he can shave anywhere his heart desires you got to stay cleaned up and groomed down there there's a little care package they got everything you need so make sure to get your man something that he loves this valentine's day you can get 20 percent off and free shipping with the code bff at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code bff give his cupid an arrow from manscaped this valentine's day we got games yes i like this created for you dream blunt rotation oh. Yes, Sick. a little snake draft what? action. Oh, Dream snake we have a, so we have a we have a draft here where it's like you gotta Absolutely. pick out of these people your dream blunt. This is the perfect segment. Yeah, so we have a <laughs> list of a bunch. No, wait, of wait, people. wait, wait. Actually, 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 Dave, I feel like we give a lot of slack and like shit to these people that make the game sometimes when they come up with shitty ones. So I think we should give them a little yo. Good job on this one. You know, thousand I mean? like this was a, million percent. This was a this, well thought out game. This was a, a beautiful idea. So whoever created this game, props to you. Josh, I'm glad you said that, and it's because I ripped everybody a new asshole this week for not last week for not putting enough thought. Because this should be this is a very well thought out, great segment. I'm glad we're yep. doing it. Yep. Whoever did this, Devin, Round Kareem, applause. whoever, Gaz, good Round job. Applause. I expect this every week moving forward. Now, oh. Oh, shit. What is going on in my home? So we'll okay. let the guests go first. first. Char oh, the order will be Charlie, jo just because I, this is how I see it. Charlie, Josh, me, Bree, Bree, me, and so okay. on. And I'm so dead that okay. Tana and Bryce are on there. That's yeah, like, hilarious. Yeah, like, who's picking them? Because they just definitely saying. came on my Smoke Roses show, and then they both definitely can't smoke. But anyways. <laughs> um... <laughs> I Love told you, guys, you I used to have Monster Hits Only Club until that got banned from the internet. Yep. Yeah, you, uh, all my weed content gets removed now. Yeah, it's Like, brutal. have you yeah, been dealing awful. with that? It's so well, annoying. Well, Dave's been off that trend. He was, so dumb. Yeah. Okay, so first name, for sure, just, okay. It's between Seth Rogen and Snoop Dogg because... Okay. Okay, so I actually already smoked with Snoop Dogg, so I'm gonna... Humble brag. <laughs> that was fucking oh, Yeah, me. I was just about to say. But Seth Rogen... Say. Would probably be my first, my okay. first pick. Okay. Okay. Josh, um, we gotta keep track of this, by the way, and let people vote who has the best. Yeah, no, Devin's now. writing going, down for us. Okay. Oh my god, dude, so hard. Um, fuck. I'm trying to decide between Will Ferrell and Dave Chappelle. You guys are such rookies at this game. Yeah, you're not supposed to say. You're not say supposed it. to say. You're just letting us know who to steal from you. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's everyone can see the list, Dave. Yeah, yeah but I don't know. I don't know what you're giving away picks. You're not supposed to give what, away what? picks. Are you like? Are you gonna be like? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna change my mind because Josh's Maybe. mind sounds like it's a better idea. Yeah. No, think well, of something original. I steal it. You, they won't be around for you. Anyway, you do you. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I'm going. 
Just I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Dave Chappelle. You don't want to smoke with Martha Stewart? I, that's hard too, but <laughs> I'm gonna do Dave Chappelle. There's so that's many good, good names. I'm going with Miley. Nice. That's okay. a great one. Um, I'm going with Barack Obama for sure. Ah, oh, sure. see, I saw that one up there. Do you think too. Barack smokes weed? Yes, for sure. He's and yeah. I want to like you could pick his brain about like all the little government secrets. That'd be awesome. And I bet you he doesn't smoke a lot. So when he smokes, he's just like an open vault. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like Barack is an open vault. When he so smokes. it's back to you, Bree. Okay, back to me. Um, I'm going to go. Uh, oh, fuck. Let's go with Adam Sandler. I love Adam Sandler. Such a good pick. Rihanna. Good. I'm going to go Elon Musk. That's a good one. Ooh, That's I a good like one. That pick. That's I good. Like yeah, that pick. yeah. Good pick. Yeah. I can figure out what's going to happen to our whole entire world in the future. I bet you that guy knows too much. Damn. Why the tough. fuck is Mark DeMello in it on this? <laughs> I... <laughs> um, <laughs> rookie pick. You know, it's not a surprise, but I'm going to go with Pete Davidson. Oh fuck! <laughs> I was going to pick him next. Yeah. And then it's right, you, you pick again. again. You, you pick again. Pete. Um. Your final one. Absolutely Lady Gaga. Wait, uh -oh. she only has three picks though. Oh wait. I thought we were doing four total. Like so. Oh yeah, four total. Four total. So, so that's three. her okay, team. So, so that's yeah, your final okay, pick. Okay. okay. Yep. So who do I got here? I got my boy Chappelle, Musk. And then Ah, uh, do you throw in Cheech and Chong to make the circle a little bigger? Ah, uh, then you're waiting longer. Probably a lot of storytelling. Um, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with, uh, fuck. This is so hard. <laughs> Who's Angus Cloud? Uh, I'm gonna say. It, it's Fez <laughs> from uh, Euphoria. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say, did someone, someone pick Jonah Hill? No. Nope. That's a good one. I saw okay, that. Okay, I'm gonna throw in Jonah Hill. Damn, all, everything I wanted is just getting taken from me right now. Rip. I know what I was going to do for my team, but I'm a little worried. I'm going to go Matthew McConaughey. That's good. That's all a great, right, yeah, right, great, great right. pick. Great pick. Uh, all right. Uh, so I have Adam Sandler, Barack Obama. Who would be? I really wanted Pete Davidson. Charlie stole him. Let's go. Uh, I'll go with Harry Styles. I can't believe Jay Z made it through. I was gonna pick Jay Z, but then I thought him and Rihanna would just flirt and maybe have sex, and I'd just be sitting there. Right? Oh you don't. God, that, you don't want that going on during your <laughs> yeah, sex. Or no. like, what if it's like, what if they just had a fight or something? You know what I'm because saying? Because they have some like, sort of history. But but I love my. I I'd be stunned if people didn't pick my team. Miley, Wait, Rihanna, four? and Matthew McConaughey. Come on. That's pretty good. My team's. I mean, pretty, uh, Harry Styles. People might just pick it for him. So everybody, what was your team, Brie? I had uh, Barack Obama, Adam Sandler, and Harry Styles. It's a good group. You only picked three. Josh? Yeah, I, got, I got Dave Chappelle, Elon Musk, and Jonah Hill. Good group. Let's go. And then Charlie? Who did I have? I had... Seth Rogen was your one. Mm -hmm. Seth yes. Rogen, Pete Seth Davidson. Seth Rogen. And I don't oh, remember. Yeah. Pete that. Davidson and Lady Gaga. Yep. Oh, that's all a good, good one. That's a good one, yeah. yeah. I mean, we yeah. said that for all of Because I okay. feel like me, me, Jonah Hill, and Dave Chappelle can just all laugh. At Elon Musk in a way, like not rudely, but like, like, inclusive. damn, what the fuck? <laughs> They're all yeah, just like be like quite and just be listening to this guy go off, and we could just be like, oh my god, dude, it'd be crazy. That would be amazing. So we gotta set Matthew this up for people to be able to vote, right? Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll have the we'll results for next week. Okay, uh, and then another game, Boomer Zoomer. We haven't played this in a while. Wait, hold on. Did you know that Matthew McConaughey gives lectures at Texas A and M? Yes, yes. I did. I'm at A really and M, he does. Yes. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. I think it's, isn't it UT? He's from Texas. No, it's got to be Texas. Oh, it's UT. Oh, it's UT. He's the yeah. biggest Sorry, Texas. My bad, my bad. He no. would never do it at AM. It's got to be at Texas. <laughs> I really want to go to one of his lectures. Me just too, just to drool. At some point, yeah. <laughs> I did a pizza review with him. Really? Yeah. You Is he just as good looking in real life? I don't know if anyone. Oh, no, no, Dave? no, I can answer that. I did a pizza review with him, Jax from um, that motorcycle show. Okay. Sons of Anarchy. Oh, okay. okay. Loves, oh my God. Girl, yes, he's so. His name's Charlie. Yes, girls love him. Charlie Hunnan or something. Him. Yes. And I did it from the lead with the guy, the lead character from Crazy Rich Asians. 
Oh, he's very good looking too. That's a group of gray looking dudes. That guy, who's also a big Barstool fan, was by far the best looking of the group. Yeah, I saw him in the office and I was like, holy shit. Henry Golding? Henry Golding is stunningly good looking. (laughs) And then Hugh Grant. And Hugh Grant was in it, yes. Uh, McGonaghy's good looking, but he's a little bit old. I mean, Henry Golding's his prime. Stunning looking guy. Yeah. All right, Zoomer versus Boomer. Zoomer versus Boomer. I'm sure this is geared towards me, Charlie, and Josh. Are you supposed to guess who it is? Yeah. Yeah. Boomer. <laughs> no. <laughs> you say the name. It, it, Kenny Maine. <laughs> I have no idea. You're supposed to guess the name yes. of the person, not just <laughs> yes. Boomer or Zoomer. Boomer. ESPN yeah. guy. Okay. This is by, they're trying to set this up, oh. I feel like, for me to like guess somebody who's, again, going to be what's his face, but Charlie. I couldn't Jordan. tell you. All right, who, go. who is that? Are we, That's, no, this is Kenny Maine. He's like, I knew Maine. you guys would have no shot at that. No sure idea. Sure, he's a great guy. <laughs> All right. Here's it. Is it just? Oh, it's just let's see if let's see if Dave can get this one. We all know it. Does Dave know it? Yeah. yeah. No clue. No clue. No no clue whatsoever. None. I hit my shit with it's, some pop uh, in it. <laughs> yeah. Don't know what that means. Who is it? <laughs> it's the baby. the baby. Did you know that, Charlie? No, actually. <laughs> yeah. You, didn't you were Charlie awful didn't quiet. I you thought were Charlie would have known. I thought she was just being quiet to let Dave answer. Me too. No, I uh, I definitely know who the baby is, but I don't know what he looks like. So right. now I know. Hey. There we go. <laughs> uh, Wait, I feel like I know who this is. Nah. Yeah. My brain is so bad. I'm gonna start missing. The, I know who it is, but. I know his face. I have no idea. Where yeah, I can't. Is. I can't. Billy What's Bob Thornton. Oh. He dated Angelina Jolie in her prime, who may be the prettiest woman who ever lived in her prime. Correct. Wow, that guy's a goat. Billy he, yeah, he, he, he literally, they went to like Billy the Bob. Oscars and Bob walked Bob. out and they're like, yeah, what are you, how are you guys? Like, well, I just fucked Angelina in the limo. I'm doing good. Oh my Power God. That, he actually said that? Wow. Yes, basically. That is, wow. And then she okay. was like, Bye. We have this girl every time. You guys do this. is like. Do you know you her? <laughs> do you know her now? do this to me every time. Come Josie. On, Oh, no. What? Josie? You're close. Come on, you're so close. You're so close. You're almost there. Jo- Joja Sawa? Uh, yes, yes. Kind of. Sawa. Joja Sawa. Bo- Bo- That's pretty much it. <laughs> Jojo Siwa. Jojo. You guys put this one on for me every time. We're, we're, you we're always say you're you. No, but we, now, that was well, the closest I'm we've ever gotten. Picking yeah. up. I'm not that big. Joja Sawa. No, it's actually James Charles. Close. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Is that Lenny Kravitz? Yep. There you go. Good job. Yeah. Much respect. I didn't expect. If I say, who do we say Angelina Jolie is the prettiest woman of all time? Sorry. He may be the best looking guy of all time. He's a good looking dude. Fly I mean, away. how old is he here? That might be now. No, I I, think, that's what I I'm think saying. This is now. He's pretty old. He's older. Right? That's what I'm saying. He's like, I think he's got to be like 50, 60 years old. He 57, looks like that. yeah. Jeez. Great skin. <clears throat> yeah. Great skin. <laughs> Dave. Wait, Josh, do you know? I need to wait. He's please, someone, a please, someone know who this is. That's not. No. Give it a try. Give the, it a try. Start with a K. What do you say? I know who it is. I just I wait, the who? name is, is tip of the tongue. Nobody knows. Fucking. Kid Cudi. What? Yes. Oh okay. I literally said to start with a K because I was gonna say Kid Cudi, but I didn't want to be wrong because Kid Cudi is fucking amazing. Yeah, I, I didn't want to disrespect, you, you disrespect Kid, Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi it's like that's so that's why I was like, did it start with a K? <laughs> yeah, I, I've definitely never seen Kid Cudi in my life. <laughs> I, I'll be honest. It's not like he's album. a very like social media like mm-hmm. guy. Like, it's like not, he's not. Yeah, like I know that. exactly who he is, and everybody. I, he's one of those guys that I think like. He's your favorite musician's favorite musician. Like everyone yes. talks yes. so highly yes. about him, he's, but he's I didn't know what he looked like. Yeah, that's him. My whole You've got to watch the uh, Kid Cudi starter. documentary. It's got Shia LaBeouf in it with uh, Silvano. I'll like avoid me. that. Yeah. Uh, no idea. Dude, I'm I'm going like Struggling. one for ten on these today. Her chain says no. iconic, so iconic. she's got to be iconic. Maybe her name's the Icon. What does it start with? Give me the first letter. Does anyone M- know who she is? M? M. M. Mar- oh, Missy Elliott. Oh, shit, yeah. That's is Missy that, Elliott? Is that Missy Elliott? Nice. Is it? I've never seen Missy Elliott, I guess, too. Oh, yeah. Me neither. Damn. I love 
Missy Elliott, though. But seen to, I have seen Missy Elliott. She just doesn't look how I remember her. She hasn't. I haven't seen. I mean, she was big a long time ago. Yeah. She looks good. <laughs> Who's uh, that? I, I know who that is. <laughs> Dave, do you know who that is? I can't tell if he's young or old. <laughs> Like, I'm looking at his face, he looks like a teenager, and I look at his arms, and he looks like maybe an adult. Who is it? I, no, I don't know who it is. It's uh, Alex Warren. Yeah, Alex, Alex Warren. Warren. Yeah. He was in, like, the new Hype House show, one of the stars. Got it. Also, he's releasing music, too. He's crushing it. Yeah, he's a singer. He's got some pipes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, oh, oh fuck. Oh, what's her I got it. Her Wait, Mandy Moore? That's it. Yep. Yes. Yes, I love Actress. her. This is Us, my favorite show. Oh, that's a, that's how us? you know Mandy Moore? Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> she was like this? a big time singer. Yeah, I had no idea. Oh, that. I didn't really? even know that that's until crazy. Like last year. Yeah, it's an actress. She was, <laughs> this, this is us she, is like wrapping up, right? They're doing like their last season or something. Yeah, yeah. last season, yeah. sadly. Don't she, even know what that is. She was a big time like teen heartthrob. She's very gorgeous. Yeah, she's beautiful. Last one. Oh, damn. All right, this is Josh's <laughs> fucking roommate. Um, <laughs> What the fuck's his name? You uh, got this. You got this. I know. I now recognize him. That's good. Wait, now I'm Look blanking on his name too. There. What the fuck? Really? It's like so easy to remember this guy's name. I yeah. You guys got it. It's the most common first name maybe what? ever. Oh, yeah. yes. Now I know. Now I know. Yes. And like the whole like his like stage name or whatever the hell you want to call that. I feel like it's just so easy to remember as well. I, well no. I don't know. Nope. I know who it is. I know it's your roommate. Yeah, you got, you're really you got good the roommate part. With. And I you're actually close. love Anthony Reese. He's, I like his look there, too. He looks sharp there. He's a, he's a very stylish guy. He that was very good. the craziest style I've ever seen. So many of the, or I, I don't know, like the, if, I guess you should call them TikTok kids, have been going to the fashion shows a lot. Like, yeah. So nice. many fashion shows. I was like, is this the new, <laughs> kinda the makes, new avenue? <laughs> kind of makes sense, I guess, like if your thing is outfits if your online, thing is fashion right? yeah. for sure but they're also like Very just tough. straight up like like um blake and uh noah not right. noah uh what's noah's girlfriend oh amelia Amelie. like yes or amelie Blake's. i said it girlfriend. so wrong yeah i said, I said blake's girlfriend yeah you, i know i thought it was amelia too it's amelie it's amelie yeah. um like she's like super into fashion i'm like that makes sense but sometimes like the kids who are going to the fashion shows i'm like do you even like clothes <laughs> yeah charlie do you have any planned super bowl week in la Yes, sir. Um, I'm planning on going, but when is it actually? Oh, wow. two weeks. Two weeks. I didn't know yeah. if you're like. I didn't know. I I, fig- I didn't know if you're like performing. Yeah, I'm or planning anything. on going, but when is it? Look, everyone's been telling. They're like this and this and this. Um, I actually was supposed to DJ something for the Super Bowl, oh. which would have been really exciting. Yeah, been sick. Um, trying to figure that out still, but dude, I honestly don't even know what day it is. Like every I, football fan well, is so pissed well, right now. So angry. Like they're, they're just, Charlie's going to go to this game and she's like, when is it? Well, I'm not, <laughs> I don't even go to the game. I, when I say, and I have this debate too, when I say Super Bowl, I don't even mean the game. Like Super Bowl week Super Bowl weekend? is a lead like, up to the week. Oh where there's yeah. The whole every, week is amazing. Yeah. All the talent, everybody in the country basically goes in LA, obviously is a party city to begin with. Um, I think that's it. Charlie, welcome. So who else have we had for two time guests? Charlie, Bryce, Bryce Harry Jowsey, right? Jake Paul. Aww. Jake Paul. I feel honored. Thanks for having me guys. Yeah, I Paul appreciate it. We yeah, appreciate Hall of Fame, it. Two timer. Good luck. Yeah, I'll have to uh I know I only brought two necklaces last time, but if you guys need more necklaces, I also <laughs> brought some rose cones. You know, gotta restock you, Josh. Stoner. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll Thank talk you. to you guys later. See you guys. See ya. See ya. See ya.